Hi, I'm Michael Menz with the MSL, and this afternoon we're going to talk about air sampling using a PPI, which is a parallel particle impactor. PPIs came onto the scene very recently with the revised OSHA regulations on silica, and they have an advantage over the traditional cyclone sampling that the PPI can be inverted without voiding the sample, as well as some of the PPI models have higher flow rates, which give you lower limits of detection. So some of the equipment that you're going to need are one of various different types of sampling pumps. Depending on the model of PPI, uh, you may need a, a more sophisticated pump to get a higher flow rate, specifically a 4 liter per minute or an 8 liter per minute flow rate. So the equipment you need for PPI sampling would be a sampling pump, the make and model dependent on the PPI selected for that sampling event, one of the various PPIs available, either a 2 liter per minute, a 4 liter per minute. They also make an 8 liter per minute PPI. A rotometer with a calibration adapter. In this case we ordered a 4 liter per minute PPI which was laboratory loaded with a pre-weight filter cassette. To start the sampling, turn on your pump, remove the inlet cover, and attach it to the pump. Connect the rotometer calibration adapter to the face of the PPI. Adjust the flow rate to 4 liters per minute to the center of the ball. Remove the calibration adapter. Put the pump on the worker to be monitored and attach the PPI in the breathing zone, which is usually on their lapel or collar. Obviously document the sampling start time. So at the end of sampling, remove the PPI from the pump. You can attach a sticker to the face of the PPI to prevent introduction of other foreign particles into the sampling media for submission to the laboratory. After sampling, complete your chain of custody, return your samples to the laboratory. Standard turnaround time is two weeks. Faster turnarounds are available. Thank you for watching EMSL TV and visit us at www.emsl.com.